Hello, welcome to Lil's and Trud. This book is everything that I got for Christmas, all bookish related. However, I should say that actually my main present that isn't bookish related that I received on Christmas Eve was da, 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 my engagement ring. On Christmas Eve, we got engaged. We've been together for quite a while and yeah, it was lovely. So anyway, I've done my announcement. We are engaged and very, very happy about it. So let's chat all things bookish, shall we? Because that's what you're here for. Right, a lot of these books I got for Christmas, some of which I opened before Christmas because that's when we were doing it. And some books I got for myself because why not? Why not? Right, let's get started. The first book that I got, this was for myself, to me, from me. Merry Christmas. This is Mrs. Ames. This is one of the Bloomsbury Group book series by E.F. Benson. I have finished the Bap and Lucia series, so I'm wanting to read some other books by him. This book is kind of similar to Map and Lucia, really, because this is about a woman called Mrs. Ames, who's queen of her town. But in comes a new, one, new woman called Mrs. Evans, who has eyes on Mrs. Ames' village crown throne, and Mrs. Ames' husband, and his son. I mean, does not... Does that not sound brilliant to you? It sounds brilliant to me, so I can't wait to read that. I then have um, a couple of books that I got because I had a voucher, so I had to buy them. So I bought two more books from the Dean Street Press for a Middlebrow book series. Firstly, Not at Home by Doris Langley Ball, a book from the 40s about a woman who ends up uh, kind of renting out part of her house. It's after the Second World War, and he's tight. And she rents out part of the house to what she thinks will be an ideal lodger. Turns out that she's not and she has to get rid of her. It sounds quite funny. The other one that I got was Much Dithering by Dorothy Lambert. This seems so my humour. Don't really know what it's about, but I just, I read the first page and I was like, that humour is me. Very me. Then I picked up my first Dean Street Press book, which is in the classic crime book series. I treated myself to Death in the Cup by Murray Dalton. Really looking forward to this. Never read any Murray Dalton before, but I'm always on the hunt for uh, classic crime authors. This is about a man called Mark Amore, who becomes the chief suspect in his sister's brutal murder. So looking forward to getting to that one. Sounds rather good, doesn't it? Then I picked up a Patricia Wentworth, this is Out of the Past, this is one of the Miss Silver books coming to the end of her book series now, um, which is quite sad but hey ho, and any time I'm seeing any of the last ones that I need to get my hands on, I'm buying them to be honest because they're not the easiest to get hold of to be honest, particularly at this time. Right, the next two I was very kindly gifted from the lovely Julie from the channel Hunger Bookworm. She picked two books off my wish list and the two that she picked were Agatha Christie Inspiring Lies by Kathy Cook. I love the cover not just because it has a border collie on the front and I have a border collie. <laughs> this is a book about the impact that Agatha Christie has had on like the literary world really and it just sounded really interesting so I wanted it and the other one that she got me and I was so glad she got me this one because I was like if she doesn't get me this one I'm gonna have to buy it for myself and that is Tom Tiddler's Ground by Ursula Orange. I love Ursula Orange. She has become a new favourite author of mine in 2020 so want to read everything by her although this is the last one that is currently in print. I have no idea what it's about but I don't care because it's Ursula Orange. I love Ursula Orange. Then when I was, oh, then when uh, we were getting engaged, that sounds weird. When, oh yeah, when we were getting engaged, we got engaged at a national trust and we ended up on this walk, which was a Beatrix Potter walk. And as you know, I love Beatrix Potter. And then I, after the walk, I went and the proposal and stuff. Went into the National Trust bookshop because they often have secondhand bookshops in National Trust books. Books? National Trust places. And in there I saw this and I thought how funny is that? So this is Miss Potter a Novel by Richard Maltby Jr. And I love the film. 
this is the book version of the film. Richard Maltby Luke Jr. wrote the screenplay as well as the book so I had to get this because it just seemed funny. I had no idea it was a novel as well so yeah I had to get that and I also picked up this beautiful vintage book. This is The House on the Island by Grace Petman and it's this lovely 1950s edition that I thought was just lovely. Look at the back as well. Yeah, so I don't really know what it's about. I think it's about a schoolgirl, well, a young lady, I should say. She is meant to be going to school, but she stayed with tuition of her father. Her father dies and she's sent to a finishing school. And there's a bit of mystery around it as well, so who knows? Then Christmas Day, for my parents, they got me these bookends, these Matilda bookends. They know that I read Matilda for the first time last year and really enjoyed it, so yeah. Bookends always come in useful, don't they? You can never have enough bookends. And then from family, first of all, I got Mrs. Tim of the Regiment by D.E. Stevenson, another one of the Bloomsbury Group book series. I think this is probably the last one from that series that I'll buy because I don't think I'm interested and any, any of the others, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I have all of the ones that I want now. Um, but Dee Stevenson wrote a lot of books. She's probably most famous for like the Mrs. Bunkle books and stuff, but she did write this series as well, which I believe is actually from her diaries. So in 1916, I think, she married an officer and she had a diary. And then years later, someone read that diary and said, oh, you should publish it. So she rewrote bits of it. And here it is. But it's a whole series now. And I think Dean Street Press have republished some of the others. So looking forward to reading it because it's Dee Stevenson. Dee Stevenson writes some beautiful, beautiful books. Next are books that I got for my other half. So I sent my other half um, seven books from my wish list and, just, and I said, pick one or two of them. He picked all seven, didn't he? <laughs> so I'm completely spoiled by him because obviously he got me my ring and then all of these brilliant books, so thank you. Right, first of all, he picked off my wishes. This um, this is Wonder Woman, The Just War, volume one. I think this came out in 2020. I think, I think. Um, I love Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy are my favorite DC characters, however, uh, I don't think she's been as strong since the new 52. I mean, the rebirth was good, but it's, I believe it's quite a slow burnout. I read the first one and I thought it was good, but not great. And I wasn't too keen on Wonder Woman and Superman. Um, hello, you come to say hello? I don't know if you can see little puppy. Hello, darling. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking, really looking forward to reading that because I haven't read um, any Wonder Woman for a little while. Then he also got me this. This is The World, My Wilderness by Rose McCauley. I do really like Rose McCauley. I think she is a wonderful writer. This book is about a woman called Barbara who spends her childhood in France and then she is sent to London after the Blitz to kind of continue her life and her adulthood, I think. But look at that cover. Isn't it stunning? These are published by Virago Modern Classics. Beautiful books. So really looking forward to that one. Then he got me off my wish list, Olivia. This is about, uh, by Dorothy Strachey, I should say. And it's about a 16 year old called Olivia who was sent to finishing school in France. Bit of a theme. France is definitely a theme, isn't it? Um, and I believe she falls for her teacher. And I think her teacher is female, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So I will read it and find out. Then he kindly got me Fraulein Schmidt and Mr. Arnstruder by Elizabeth von Arnhem. I love Elizabeth von Arnhem. I want to read everything by Elizabeth von Arnhem, although I think quite a few are out of print now, but hey ho. Uh, this is about a woman called Fraulein Schmidt who um, becomes the love interest of Mr. Arnstruder, who is like an English bachelor. And I don't know any more of it than that other than I really want to read it because, as I said, I love Elizabeth on Arnhem. I think she's got a wonderful writing style. Then I read, um, then I read, <laughs> then I received The Constant Nymph, Nymph by Margaret Kennedy. So I read Ladies and Linton by Margaret Kennedy. 
really enjoyed it but this is her most famous work and this book is often featured in other books so lots of other books often kind of say that oh so and so is reading The Constant Nymph. I have no idea what it's about but it's just one of those books that's often in other books so want to read it. Then he picked up for me another Patricia Wentworth, this one is The Ivory Dagger, another Miss Silver, as I said coming to the end of them but collecting them every time that I see some available I get them. And he also picked up for me this book, this is Miss Marple, The Life and Times of Miss Jane Marple by Anne Hart. It's kind of like a biography of Miss Marple essentially and oh it has a has a little map in it as well somewhere there we are St Mary Mead wonderful and then <laughs> I'm still going last three uh, then I had another voucher so I of course bought it and I bought the Poirot version so I bought Hercule Poirot The Life and Times of Hercule Poirot by Anne Hart of course Agatha Christie's Poirot so it's the same as the Miss Marple one but the Poirot one and the reason why I got this one without I haven't read this one first is because I have a habit of leaving other books if they kind of go as a pair and then suddenly comes out a print and that really gets on my nerves so I thought I'll get it now because they look they look nice together and obviously they're matching so I want to read it eventually anyway so yeah got that one and I also picked up another Patricia Wentworth but this one's shiny I don't know why this one is the Benevent Treasure another Miss Silver one and it leaves one last Miss Silver one to get and then I have all of the Miss Silver books but they're a little tricky to get your hands on they're not easy to find and finally last but not least I went into an independent bookshop because I was there <laughs> and there was no one else in it so I went inside because I don't like going where people are not just because of what's going on but just generally in life um, and I saw this book this is Courtiers The Secret History of the Georgian Court by Lucy Worsley this book has sat on my wish list for years and I yeah I just saw it in my local independent bookshop and thought I'm gonna get it why not so yeah there we are that is my Christmas book haul I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you had a lovely Christmas or holidays or just had a nice day if you don't celebrate anything chat to me in the comments all things bookish and I shall see you soon for the next video bye for now